got up like 20 minutes ago, but I'm finally getting my life together this morning. Um, let's put my contacts in, brush my face and stuff. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I did not do my skincare last night. I was way too tired. It was way too late. So, well, I gotta make up for that this morning. Did you guys see that Taylor Swift made Times Person of the Year? Actually, iconic. A queen. Mother. Uh, such an inspiration. First entertainer to ever be recognized as times person of the year crazy it's crazy what she's done truly an inspiration a queen fun fact i'm actually going to see taylor swift in tokyo in february so um i got tickets sometime this summer and I'm super excited to go. Uh, I have been doing nothing but living vicariously through everyone on TikTok when she was doing her shows in America for the Eras tour. Um, so I'm really excited to go. Basically, it's going to be a birthday present for me. So <laughs> um, I'm really excited. Can't wait to see her. Uh. All right, um, as I was saying last night, we are working from home today. Um, so we have like an online conference training meeting for all of the jets in Hokkaido. Uh, so basically I'm doing that all day. I get to just um, work from home and yeah. So that'll be my day today, and then, like I said, after we're going to go get our nails done. I need them done so desperately. Um, I'm happy because, not gonna lie, I botched my nails about a month ago. Uh, yeah, but they are finally, I would say, even though they're short right now, they're finally at a good place again. Um, so I'm really happy about that and I do this like once a year my nails are so good all year so good all year so good all year and then I don't get them done for like an extended period of time and then one of my nails breaks and then that leads to me trying to fix it and then I can't fix it myself and then they all end up getting messed up so basically that's what happened but they're finally in a good place I think by New Year's they'll be really nice again for me to get done um, but, yeah, I've got some inspo in mind that I want to do. Uh, and I'm excited to see my nail lady again. Oh my gosh, I still have, like, makeup on. Um, I think because this is just, like, I I'm just working from home and it's an online workout i think i'm just going to do skincare and like straighten my hair really quick and we'll leave the makeup off today and uh if i feel like putting some on i'll put some on at lunch when we break for lunch today um so this conference i'm pretty sure in the morning it's like a lecture and some other stuff i don't know I have, I have to look at the schedule but in the afternoon it's basically gonna be like a breakout section a breakout session um where we talk about different things like just life in japan how we communicate with our supervisors or board of education or schools or whoever we work for and then the last little group will be um we had to submit like an activity that we do with our classes and 
kind of like explaining what the activity is and what we do. So that's, that's what that will be this afternoon. We'll be done by four and then I'll go get my nails done. Um, all right, let's, I'm just gonna straighten my hair and then that'll be it for getting ready this morning. hop off here this thing starts in like 10 minutes so i'm just gonna change make my tea and then we'll hop online break um, from our online conference for today so I'm just making some lunch and made some eggs and avocado and I'm heating up some French onion soup that my friend made for me yesterday she brought she cooked it for me when she um, came over yesterday so I'm also heating that up so we're gonna have lunch and then we'll get back at it for the afternoon and then we'll go get our nails done so. <laughs> is up friends i just got done with my conference um it's almost four o'clock it went really well it was like a lecture presentation in the morning and then after lunch we got together in breakout rooms and talked about various things um just about the jet program in general uh what we do for teaching etc etc um so day went by really fast so i can't believe it's already four o'clock i feel like i just woke up like an hour ago but um, now that we're done with that, uh, I'm going to get ready to go get my nails done because I have an appointment at 4.30. Um, my nail place is only like five minutes away, um, so I'm going to leave in like 15 minutes and then get my nails done and come back home and chill for the rest of the afternoon. So, um, should be nice and easy. It's kind of, um, fun to work from home. Uh, <laughs> obviously when I was working at architecture when I lived in Nashville, and COVID hit, you know, we went all remote. So, but ever since moving to Japan, I have not worked remote um, for the last year and a half. So it was like, I was going back to my roots. It felt really nostalgic for me, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was nice. It was kind of nice to have a little break during the week. Also it was nice because the conference started at like 9 15 this morning so i got to sleep in a little bit than i usually do but uh yeah that's the plan for the afternoon so i'll show you guys my way over to the nail salon and then i'll catch up with you guys when i get back home all right bye <laughs> all right y'all we gotta talk about something listen okay one of the things um, that I love about being in Japan is the, like, gift-giving culture. Um, my love language is a thousand percent gift-giving, so the whole, like, omeyage, giving stuff, um, things for even little things, I 
mess with that so hard. Like I mess with that. I love it. So, um, just got back from getting my nails did. Look at how good they look. She, my nail lady, bless her heart. She kills it every time. She always does a fantastic job. Um, they're beautiful. I love them, especially for the holiday season. They're like not traditional holiday colors, but they look so good. So really happy with that. But Whenever I go to see her, um, I always bring like a little gift for her. Ironically, today was like the only day that um, um, that I didn't bring her something because I was gonna bring her something when I after um, traveling. But uh, she did get me. Look at this amazing gift bag she got me. It's literally bigger than my head. It's full of gifts. I haven't opened it yet, but. Um, she's so precious to me. I love her so much and it's just, I've never felt so just uh, cared for and loved by even, you know, people that I only see like once a month. Uh, it's a really special thing here in Japan. Anyways, um, I'm gonna open this up and yeah. Uh, so let me see, I just got home from getting my nails done. We're probably just gonna clean our laptop and stuff up from this afternoon and then make some dinner and then what we got going on probably just chill for the rest of the night so this little vloggy might just be a little short um if i decide to do it for tonight but i probably will combine it with tomorrow just to make it a little bit longer but um yeah so that's what we got going on for the rest of the night um might show you some other things that i get into but anyways fills my heart with so much joy I, it's insane how many like little presents and omiyage and things that I get even just from random t-shirts uh, teachers but I love to make it special especially for like the holiday season like Christmas Halloween um they love they eat that up they eat that up when I make like little goodie bags that are like Halloween themed and I give it out to the teachers and stuff so anyways um if you enjoy getting and receiving gifts come to Japan it's a great country to show your love to other people so <laughs> All right, y'all, you know what time it is. It's time to open up the advent calendar. Don't mind my computer making noises in the background, but it's December 7th. So we're gonna open up day seven up here in the corner. Let's see what we got. Okay, the tab is on the right side. Oh, she in, she in, she in. All right, come on out. Oh, we got a sneezel, wow. All right, let me take her out. Oh my gosh, so cute, so detailed too. Wow, I love it, I love it so, so much. Um, Sneasel's a really cool Pokemon. All right, let's go put her on the tire room. Okay, let's see, Sneasel, where are we putting you? Um, let's put you on the other, let's put you by the house. That would look really cute, I think. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at her just chilling out by the house. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, all right, so that's day seven for the advent calendar. All right, y'all, it is like 11.30. It's towards the end of the night, so I'm going to wind down and vlog for today here um, and pick it back up tomorrow. Uh, I have a full day of classes tomorrow, so I won't really be free till the afternoon, um, but at least tomorrow's Friday, uh, so after we're done with work tomorrow, we will be home free for the weekend. Um, I have a couple things to do after work tomorrow, a couple shopping things to do, um, but we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, so thanks for following along with me this Thursday and Friday, and I'll see you when the video's up. Night, night, bye. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> oh, how I love being a woman. Um, okay, we just woke up. Uh, we're just starting our skincare. Um, so we're doing that. If you're wondering what's on my head, it's actually the little cloth thing to my bathroom. Hello. I can't believe I'm showing this on the internet i look ridiculous um but this is how i've been doing my overnight curls uh 
So when I do this, my hair doesn't come out like perfectly curly or anything, but it helps my hair to hold the hold a curl. Um, so basically I do this at night. I just like wet my hair a little bit. I did not wash my hair last night, but I just like wet it. And then um, I'm gonna go in with my Dyson uh, and like actually curl my hair. So it just helps. It just helps it to hold the curl a little better all day. And it's easy to do. Like I don't have to spend 20,000 million years curling my hair. So we're gonna do that and get ready and then head off to work for the day. Um, today I'm in elementary school. That's kind of far. It's like 20, 25 minutes from my house. Honestly, it's the farthest elementary school, probably the farthest elementary school that I go to. Um, I have five classes today, so it will be a busy one. I teach the sixth graders in the morning and then the fifth graders, my third, fourth, fifth period. Um, so that's going to be fun. I'm going to see what we have in store for the kids today. I don't really know. The sixth graders should be easy. The fifth graders, it's a different story at this school. Um, okay, so the situation with this school is kind of different for elementary school. Um, so as I was saying earlier, for when I go to elementary, I have an English teacher that I teach with. Um, so I teach with him for sixth grade at this school that I'm going to today, but for fifth grade, I teach with the homeroom teachers, um, which the homeroom teachers are nice and great, but um, sometimes it can be a little chaotic because I never know the plan going into teaching with the fifth graders. So, okay, there's our skincare. I'm gonna take this thing out of my head and then curl my hair, so. Get into a yo. Okay, so I look kind of crazy right now, but this is just kind of to get the texture of my hair. And now we're gonna go in with the Dyson and do the the curls. <laughs> a little crazy right now but i promise they will fall okay so that's hair um i'm not even gonna use any hairspray or anything it's just gonna kind of fall out naturally um let's do like the fastest makeup i've ever done because we got about like five minutes i also have to go make my tea ah! <laughs> just been chilling here in the English room so usually at this school I have five classes and then after fifth period I go down to the staff room and just kind of do my own work there but today they have a teachers meeting and I'm not allowed to be in the staff room for teachers meetings um, I don't know why it's just our rule but um, yeah so I've just been working up here um, we got about another hour of work and then we'll head on home. I think we're going to stop by a couple of places on the way home and pick up some things that we need to get, do some shopping maybe, um, maybe a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, yeah, so that's about all we got going on. Classes were really good today. 
uh, one of the fifth grade classes had the flu, so during that same period, um, the, the English teacher taught the sixth graders twice, so instead of going to one fifth grade class, I just came back and um, taught the other sixth grade class again today. Um, so the kids were quite excited because they usually only see me for one period, and then I leave to go teach the fifth graders when I'm here all day. But yeah, so that was our day for today. Um, just kind of chilling, waiting for my weekend to come. We'll head on home and get into, it's Friday, but I don't really have any plans for tonight. Um, just really chilling because we got some fun stuff going on this weekend. So just wanted to chill tonight, but yeah, I've got to stop by on the way home, grab some things and I'll let our weekend begin. <laughs> It's almost like 9.30. <laughs> um, I basically got home from work and have just been chilling. I took a fat nap after work because I needed it. It was so busy today. Um, but yeah, I needed that. So here we are. Um, I think we're going to open up the advent calendar. And then I might just end the vlog after that. Uh, so that I can wind down for tonight. Um... Some of my friends invited me to go out to dinner tonight, but I was just too tired um, after work in this whole week. So we just took the opportunity to chill tonight, um, which is really nice. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so let's open up the advent calendar for day eight then. All right, you already know advent calendar time. We got a big number eight for December 8th today, aka day eight of Vlogmas. Um, let's open her on up, see what's inside. It's a big one. I don't know what it is. I wonder if it's gonna be like crop. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's such a cute Psyduck. Oh my gosh, she's so big. All right, let me pull him out. Okay, he was definitely one of the hardest to get out, but look at him. He's so cute. He also has opposable limbs. Oh my gosh, you cannot tell me that that is not so adorable. We love Psyduck. Okay, um, let's put him on. He's really big, though. So, hmm. I feel like you kind of need to go, like, over here, right? I feel like that's a good spot. Oh my gosh, how cute! Uh, hey, I'm trying to get a good shot. <laughs> well, okay, let's turn him face for the camera. Oh my gosh, a little Charmander in the background. You cannot tell me that is so cute. We love Psyduck. Okay. That's day eight for the advent calendar. All right, y'all. That's going to be the end of day eight of Vlogmas. So that was my th Thursday and Friday um, in my life. So thanks for coming along with me. Uh, I'm going to do another weekend in my life this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. And so I'll wait till Sunday to post and edit that video. Um, so that'll be, what, Vlogmas Day 9 and 10, 9 and 10. Um, we got some fun stuff planned for the weekend. I have a Christmas party tomorrow with my friends, so that should be fun. I have to go do some other things beforehand, take care of some other chores. Um, and then Sunday, I hope will just probably be a recovery day from the Christmas party, and I'm totally okay with that. Um... So that's about what we got this weekend, and then we'll start a new work week in my life. Uh, yeah, we only got about two weeks until winter vacation, so just a little bit uh, more time for the second semester for school in Japan. So um, I don't know particularly what we got going on next week. I'll check my calendar this weekend and see what's happening next week, but... Um, have some fun this weekend, have a nice little Christmas party with our friends, and yeah. So thanks for following along with me this week. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Oh, I know what I did wrong on the last video. Um, I realized today I was 
you know, just doing some trial and error with Adobe Premiere Pro. And I realized I had this like effect filter setting on my export. So that's why it, it was come it came out like that because I had all of these weird filters and things on and I didn't even know. So I didn't know until I realized it when I was like trying to uh, do some preview exports of the video for today. So anyways, so sorry about that quality, but this video should be a lot better because I know what I'm doing now, okay? So anyways, thanks for following along with me. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the videos and yeah, see you for the next one. Good night, bye.